What's up guys, it's 304 Tech Maven here, and today we're just gonna be doing a brief uh, review on this 3D printing handbook by 3D Hubs. Uh, this is something that I got an email about getting um, off Amazon for 29 bucks, and I'd been looking for a book like this for quite some time of kind of a general knowledge base for 3D printing, and so I figured why not give it a shot. Um, it's basically brand new, uh, and I was one of the first 250 people to order it, so I just wanted to give a quick overview of some of the things, uh, the cool things that I found in the book and just um, the general knowledge about it. Um, so a quick introduction on my background in making. Uh, I've been doing 3D design for about three years uh, since I've come to college and I'm pretty fluent with SOLIDWORKS. I'm actually a certified SOLIDWORKS associate that I got through some of my industry experience. I know I'm not an expert, um, but I have really good knowledge on the basic assemblies and stuff in SOLIDWORKS and even designing something and then actually making it and having it welded together or tightened or something like that. Um, so I've had to deal with tolerances and stuff like that in industry. Um, and then I also have some basic design with Fusion 360 um, and then obviously all your slicers and stuff for 3D printing. Um, so I've only had a 3D printer for about a year now, uh, but uh, in that year I've actually gotten now my third one um, between the Prusa and the uh, Creality CR10 S4. Um, so I'm learning a lot even more and more as I'm beginning to expand into bigger print beds and stuff. This book has been even more to help me learn. Um, so just kind of as a quick introduction, we're on the table of contents page. And the first thing right off the bat uh, that I really liked about this book is they have a page called How to Use This Book. Um, and it's really cool that they have that because this is the kind of book where you're really not going to want to start on page one and end on page, you know, the last page. Um, so this is something where you definitely want to kind of almost pick and choose if you're more experienced with 3D printing what you read because you may already know a lot of the information that's in the book. You might still want to quickly scan through it, but you're not going to spend a lot of time reading it in depth. Um, so they kind of equip you to efficiently go through the book, which is really cool. And then they have the book split up into three different parts. So part one, you have 3D printing technologies and materials. This is basically where they describe different forms of 3D printing. So you even have like your FDM, FFF, uh, and also SLA. For a lot of people know there's, there's things like material jetting, binder jetting, and stuff like that that I wasn't even too familiar with. So it was really cool to kind of read through that and see some of the uh, different things they're doing with metals and all the kind of applications like that. And then part two is actually designing for 3D printing. This gets more into designing parts specifically for the type of 3D printing that you're doing. Um, and some people may think that that doesn't really have too big of an impact on the outcome of your part, but it really does. And I've actually seen that in my own parts. For example, you know, the difference between a fillet and a chamfer. Um, and we'll actually show you guys an example of that in SOLIDWORKS so you can kind of see the differences. But those differences definitely affect the quality of the part and it's something that you want to understand as you're designing a part. Um, that way it can come out the quality that you're expecting it to. And then part three is applications of 3D printing. Um, and this is following the same suit from the first two parts. It's basically talks about the different applications for each type of 3D printing. Um, and this is really cool because it gives you kind of a good baseline or kind of threshold of where the industry is at right now. Um, and for some people who aren't too involved with the 3D printing industry, it's just really a good way to get caught up to speed and learn about some of the cool things that companies and uh, people are working on. Um, so overall, this was a really great book. It definitely increased my knowledge of making and my knowledge of how I should better design for FDM printing. And it's, it's almost like an encyclopedia. This is something that I will definitely go back to. Um, and maybe if I get a new printer, I get an SLA printer, I get something that I'm not too familiar with. Uh, I would definitely go back to this book as a quick reference, uh, a quick how-to reference on how to better design for the printer or some of the issues I may have in terms of quality with a part from coming from the printer. Um, so it's, Overall, a, a really, really good book. I did get it for 20% off. Even if this book was, and I bought it regular price, which is 49, I would still buy it. Um, it's definitely worth it. So this book can really, it, it's meant for anybody. It can apply from that person who is just deciding on buying their first 3D printer or can apply to that industry expert that maybe just wants to know how to better design uh, something for a new 3D printer type of 3D printing that the company's gonna be working on or something like that. So, you know, this book was made by industry experts, people who know what they're doing. Um, so there's definitely room for anybody to take knowledge away from this book. So I highly encourage you think about kind of using this as your reference for anything. Uh, it's just one of those books on the shelf. It's gonna come off and on frequently on the shelf that I can pull out and check at any time and check anything in terms of 3D printing. It's just really a great tool to have um, kind of in the, in the quiver. Uh, <laughs> And you know, as, as a maker, you want a big quiver. Definitely think about 
you know, buying this book and really just using it to kind of enhance your own personal skills. I know personally it's enhanced my skills and I definitely learned a lot from it that I can apply to my own printing that I'm doing. Even if I get a new printer or experiment in industry with a new kind of printer, I'll be ready. So definitely feel free to check out the link below that will have it on 3D Hubs. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys.